Welcome to my channel. My name is Winter and I'm really happy to see you today. If you're new to this channel, super. Come on in, have a seat, grab a drink, enjoy yourself. And thank you to all my new viewers that are on my channel. I really appreciate it. And any new subscribers that are watching, thank you for being here. I really appreciate that too. In this vlog, I'm going to be painting. I always forget what I recorded already. <laughs> I have no clue. <laughs> Welcome to my life. I find a pair of glasses that's been missing for a month. I spent all day yesterday killing elm bugs. I had to mend my fly swat. <laughs> because I don't have a car and I can't go drive and buy one. Woo wee! It's Monday. Starting a new vlog. I just walked up to Walmart to get my groceries. I will turn the camera around and show you what's in the cart. Peanut, <laughs> peanut is in the cart. I just got out of the shower. Boy, walking to Walmart wiped me out. <laughs> it was hot. So let me show you what I got. I wanna show you this first. This is Gold Bond Age Renew Crepe Corrector Body Lotion. And it does work. You have to use it for a few days and you will notice some difference in your skin. It's very, it just feels so creamy and it doesn't feel sticky on your skin. And I really like this a lot. It is expensive. It's like, eleven dollars something like that my total bill for all of this was like fifty dollars because i got expensive items but i didn't get a lot so there's this and then i was about running out of that this is all i use i don't use floss and it works really well for me these brushes there are 50 in the pack and i love them and then this was an expensive item. This is what I'm using for my sleep aid. Benadryl. This works. <laughs> I have tried a lot of different things to sleep. Melatonin gives me a hangover. And I don't sleep all night. This I'm actually dreaming and remembering some dreams. I have not remembered dreams in decades because that's how poorly I sleep. I'm getting to dream and I wake up rested using Benadryl. And then I bought some Colgate White, Optic White. I like this too. It does help my teeth stay whiter. I do drink a lot of tea, not so much in the summer, but it does help my teeth stay whiter. I ordered this, the last grocery shopping that I had, and they were out of it. So I'm glad they had it this time. I grew up on Comet Cleanser, but it was back in the day when it was nice and gritty and it did a better job. I don't know why they stopped making it that formula, but here we are. And this has 50% more. Sweet. And it has bleach. Okay. Sweet. Second to last, organic bananas. I spent six or seven dollars, I think this was on a plant. This is not real. It's as fake as it gets because if you've watched me for any length of time on my other channel, I kill plants. And I almost killed the only alive plant that I have left. I forgot I had it and I forgot to water it. So I watered it and now it's looking a lot better. Praise God. But I have a ceramic pot that's sitting outside that I'll put this in and I'll put it here in the house. But that is it for the haul. No, it's not. Peas. <laughs> it's the only food item I bought. <laughs> I am going to make lemon chicken today. So I will be doing that later and I will, you can cook with me. We'll cook together. Okay. All right. I looked up a chicken recipe for lemon chicken and I don't have much of the ingredients, <laughs> but we're going to give it our, our, our best shot. Pat, pat, pat. Well, this has got white wine vinegar in here, which it calls for a white wine 
dry white wine. I don't drink, so we're going with wine vinegar. A tablespoon of grated lemon zest. I don't have that. Ta tablespoon freshly squeezed lemon juice. I have this. I mean, it's the real juice, but it's in here. So I'm going to just squirt some in. It's only one breast, so I'm not putting as much in here. And then we have dried oregano. Whenever I do my recipes on my, on my videos, I always feel like it looks like I'm putting in a ton of spices, but I'm really not. I'm going to add some of this Mrs. Dash. It's a garlic and herb season blend. It's really lovely. I'm going to add a little bit of onion powder. This is not part of what they're asking for. Just my own flavorings. It does call for thyme. Fresh, but I don't have that, so I'm using this teaspoon, but I'm just going to shake some in here. This is all going into that white wine vinegar. Ooh, that smells so good. I wish it was Smell-O-Vision. I'm going to put some garlic powder in here because they're asking you to, to uh, what's it called? <laughs> uh, saute garlic and some oil, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to put some garlic powder in here. Place it in the bowl here. it all mixed up. And I'm going to put this in the fridge and I'm going to let this marinate until about five o'clock. So that'll be two hours. It's almost three o'clock now. I'm going to pour a little bit of this on here just for giggles. There's dinner. Well, let the good times roll. I walked out here earlier and felt a little dampness under my feet and basically decided to ignore it. <laughs> and then I walked out here a few minutes ago and my entire rug that goes on my floor is sopping wet. And I'm like, what? where is this coming from? It's my refrigerator. Don't have my blow dryer, it broke yesterday, so I can't get in here and blow it dry and get it out of here. And I don't, there was just water all over the place. You can see it. See the drops of water on here? Just everywhere. And that's the deal with RV refrigerators, especially one as old as this, <laughs> 1981. But water comes from here and it just was like all over the rug, which I've got outside. I'll go show you hanging out there. This is my padded floor, my insulated floor. It's covering up my beautiful hardwood floor, but <laughs> I don't care because it keeps me warm in the winter time and I love the way it feels under my feet. It's very cushy. Since I don't have a blow dryer, I'm trying to help it out somewhat. I'm gonna dump this ice on top of the food. <laughs> what a hot mess. But you know what? It's working. My refrigerator works. That's the important thing. <laughs> so, this will take a hot minute. I have to let that work its way out of there. I can't get to it. That's why I threw the ice to keep that cold till we get defrosted. All right, we are almost completely defrosted. <laughs> All right, I've put a towel in here for the meantime. I am going to turn the fridge back on and close the door so yeah there we are hi everybody it is tuesday and 
I thought I would show you how I keep my place cool in the summer. It is extraordinarily hot in the summer here. Not like other places, not like Phoenix, not like Sacramento, but we get up to like 105, which is insane when you're living in a tin can without any insulation in it other than maybe a half inch here and there. So firstly, you can see it's really dark in here and I left the flash off so you could see. It is the only way that over the years of living in Phoenix, Arizona for 23 hot, miserable years, you learn to keep all your lights off and your curtains shut, your doors shut. You don't let any light in <laughs> your house and you keep your air going, you know, a million miles an hour. So you can tell it's dark throughout my whole house. I have a shade screen right here that was outside and I brought it in and hung it over the window. It is making a big, big difference, but I'm going to staple gun it up to the wall because I can feel the heat coming up and over that curtain. So that's what we're going to do right now. This is my Arctic air. And as long as I have cold, cold water, and keep the filter very wet, which I have to do about every hour. It, it helps. It's blowing cool air right now because I just filled it up. I keep water in the fridge specifically for this. So I'm just going to staple gun this down here. This is what you have to do in an RV. Behind this window, there's the shade. Behind that is actually eighth of an inch or quarter of an inch insulation before you get to the glass and the glass is tinted but it still beats the sun in here because the sun is on this side of the house in the afternoon keep the heat from coming off the glass into the room that'll make a big 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 difference i love the way my bathroom looks now that it's been painted if you want to see those videos i'll link them below so in the summertime i make sure that this shower curtain is closed and that this door it remains closed. That way the cool air can come down the hallway into the bedroom. My air conditioner's in that window. I don't use the one overhead because it would cost me an arm and a leg to run it. My electric bill in the summer is around 50. I have to get new curtains this year. These are worn out. Anyway, these are blackout curtains and it is amazing how much they keep the heat off of this deck. It's almost, it's incredible actually. <laughs> so I like them to stay closed in the summertime. Well, we've had a lot of wind and of course with wind, these get blown all over the place and the sun comes beating in onto the front of the house where my living room window, my living room window's right there and my door is right there. If I didn't have this deck with the cover on it, it, the sun would just beat onto this metal. So today I close pinned it. <laughs> and so far it's holding. And if I need to go out, I just undo the clothes pins and come back in and close pin it up. Hi everybody. It is Thursday evening in this week's vlog. And you're staring at a bathroom curtain right now, but soon you're gonna be staring at something totally gross. Those are dead elm bugs. They invaded about four years ago and they never leave. They're here all the time. And this last winter, they kind of disappeared for the first time since they arrived on the scene four years ago. And now they are back with a vengeance. I had to move my, what did I have to move? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to move this chair right now because it's driving me crazy. <laughs> no one needs to be driving me crazy right now. Yeah. <laughs> so chair is getting moved to its least amount of taking up space in this room. It's starting to close in on me, guys. The room is closing in on me. Why? Because I'm carless. <laughs> so the only time I get to leave my beautiful home is when 
go over to Walmart to pick something up or my next door neighbor takes me to a chiropractic appointment. That has been my world. Or I walk to Walmart. I did a Walmart haul with that. These are those, whatever that is. Breakfast sausage, and yes, Cuddles and Daisy. You're right, it's wonderful. Again, I always get this. I love gluten-free food. I do not have celiac, but I eat gluten-free and my stomach loves me for it. I had this in my smoothie today with flax and psyllium and almond milk and a banana and protein powder it was so good in fact i that's all i've had since lunch and it's 8 30 almost nine o'clock at night i got some frozen peas 98 cents compared to a dollar 98 if i buy a can i got mixed veggies i am eating meat again i have been vegan for seven years and my body was saying you need more protein so i started putting some meat in my body this is salmon. This is, no, that's salmon. <laughs> you can tell I, I really know my meats. <laughs> You're probably looking at that going, uh, honey, no, that's not salmon. <laughs> this is chicken. On the Walmart haul, I bought a new milk, an apple juice, there's an orange juice. I like this Simply Orange. It has no sugar in it. Only what the orange gives you, which is a good thing. And then I got the apple juice. Of course, more hummus and yogurts. I got, I ate one today. This is what I buy. And the other one was strawberry. So was this one. I bought that. They had to substitute what I usually eat, which is a blue bag. I don't remember the company. They use real M&Ms in theirs. These guys don't. So the M&Ms in here are a lot sweeter than the ones in the other bag. Breakfast, Friday. One more coat. Well, I decided it's going to need even another coat after this, but it sure is looking pretty. So I took the time and taped off everything. So I've got all the trim done. I am inside the house and I'm going to paint. And back here are these cabinets that have wallpaper like this on them. I'm going to paint over the wallpaper because if you watched my video with the bathroom redo, I ended up having to paint over the wallpaper. I couldn't get it off no matter what I did. It wouldn't come off and I'm not going to deal with that. So all of the balances and the cabinets back here the doors i'm going to paint them the same dark blue that is on the cabinet in the bathroom so that's what we're doing today thumbs up this video if you're appreciating my content and uh if you're enjoying the content you can leave it a subscription I get my glasses at Dollar Tree. If you're new to my channel, I'm blind, but I use Dollar Tree glasses. I lost a pair about a month ago. Couldn't find them, didn't know where they were. I just spotted them. I'm going to show you where they are. See that? I saw that little black thing right there and thought it was a bug. Oh, no, no, no. Au contraire. It's my glasses. <laughs> They've been missing for a month.
I taped around it really well so that my pouncing won't pounce onto the other paint. I don't want to have to do any touch-ups. There's the finished artwork. <laughs> it has a little flaw here and there, but it's my house. <laughs> Nobody's going to see it but me and the whole entire world. Not through YouTube, that is. What do you think? Leave a comment. And then I'm going to be doing these with either butterflies or flowers. I'm not sure. If it's butterflies, it'll be like this kind of thing. If it's flowers... It will be, you know, a garden of flowers.